Next level impunity, illegality. PDP Berate sacked Cross River lawmakers for approving 1.5 billion naira loan by Jonathan Oba. The People's Democratic Party, PDP, in Cross River State has described reports of the sacked House of Assembly sitting to approve a 1.5 billion naira loan facility as counterpart funding for the Universal Basic Education Commission, Quebec, and 10 special advisors as the worst level of impunity and illegality and administration can go. The state chairman, Barrister Venash's income in a statement to Cross River Watch said, the action shows that the current Ben Ayade led administration has no limits to how far it can go in terms of illegality and impunity. Indeed, just like his political party says, this is indeed the next level of impunity and illegality. How can 18 people who were sacked by Justice Taiwo Taiwo of the Abuja Division of the Federal High Court go out to approve the appointment of 10 special advisors and plunge the state deeper into debt by borrowing 1.5 billion naira? Barrister Ikem question. He wondered what happened to the governor's dream of using intellectual money green money and all other monies he kept babbling about, such that he will have to go and borrow to get UBEC funding. He said the PDP is aware of the desperate need to deploy these funds to impose a successor that will cover up Governor Ayadi's mistakes in the office, as well as other failed political ventures. Barrister Ikum averred that Cross Riverans know that the plan is to award contracts to cronies colleagues and allies instead of competent contractors, and the kickbacks will be used to replicate the vote buying situation we all witness in Ikiti. The PDP is also aware that the failed senator representing Cross River North said Notorial District, Stephen O'Day, who was reappointed to his former position as chairman of the State Universal Basic Education Board, is in dire need of rehabilitation, having sold most of his ill-gotten assets and obtained loans to prosecute his failed court case against Senator Jaribe Agam Jaribe, which forced him to accept the indignity of accepting an appointment under a commissioner. He called on Cross Riverans to resist this last kicks of a dying horse as the current administration has shown its hand in the suffering of the people. This is the voice of Desire Beshel.